Have you ever opened your bank account or looked at a credit card and just have been completely shocked? Like, where did my money go? The same exact thing can happen with your time. You can spend a whole week of work and feel like you've been working hard, but when you look back at it, you're just like, what? What have I even done? I have been tracking the time that I work now for almost five years, and it has done incredible things for my business. So today I'm going to walk you through a little bit about like how and why I needed to track that time, and then what I learned from tracking my working hours for the last five years. If you have watch this channel for any amount of time. I've said some stories about the beginning of my wedding business where I just had no idea what I was doing. And a big part of that was structuring my time, being organized, like being productive, prioritizing things. I was not very good at that. I just did the next thing that I thought was good to do. And it ended up with just kind of wasting a lot of time or going down these rabbit trails that I didn't really need to. I felt that I had been working kind of endless hours and I didn't know when to tell myself to stop or like when I felt like I had a productive day. And so my thought was, OK, what if I just like clocked in and clocked out like everybody else does? Uh, but instead, I do it for myself and I keep myself a little bit accountable on how much I'm working on a day. So if I get distracted and do laundry or a friend calls and says, hey, let's go get lunch and I only work for a couple hours. I, I know that mm, maybe I need to spend a little bit more time working on my business today. And so I downloaded a few apps and uh, they didn't work very well. Uh, they were either not very user friendly or I didn't like the look of them. Um, but then I came across this app called Toggle. Like this is not sponsored or anything. It's a free app, so you can download it right now. Um, but I loved this app right away for a few reasons. You can use it both on your desktop as well as on your phone. So I'm using it right now. I'm tracking like I'm working on YouTube right now. Another thing is that it tracks idle time. So if you leave your computer, if I get distracted, I don't know, go somewhere and fold laundry or something um, and my computer realizes that, you know, I haven't been moving my mouse or anything, a little thing will pop up and say like, hey, you've been idle. Like, do you want to keep this time? Do you want to discard it? Stuff like that. Um, and then the great thing is that you can categorize all your time. So when you click and say, you know, I'm going to start recording, then you can choose a category. Like, am I working on clean photographs, our wedding business? Am I working on YouTube? Um, and, and the really great thing about that is that then you can look at reports. You can see how long you've spent uh, working on certain things, how long things are taking. And that gives you so much great information as you try to, you know, make your business efficient and just using your own time really well. So the first thing that I learned from tracking my hours was at the beginning, I realized how inconsistent my working hours were. Uh, you know, one day I would be like working for two hours. The next day I would be working for like 11 hours. And it, as I looked back on the weeks that went by, I realized that it was just like kind of crazy and wild. The second thing that I realized was that any time that I had one of those really long stretches of hours, um, even shooting a wedding, for example, the next couple days would be just like ah, plummet. Now, there's a really good distinction that I want to make here. When I talk about tracking my time, this is not just like, oh, I'm starting now and then I include everything like you having a lunch break, going to the bathroom, getting a drink of water. I track productive time only. Like I only track when I feel like I'm on and I'm really working and engaged. If I'm like checking my phone, if I'm looking at Instagram, if I'm like even planning my day, I don't include that as work. Um, I, I, I want like active, hard working so that at the end of the day, when I look back at say like, oh, wow, I worked like six hours, that's like six 
on hours, not like six hours that includes like two hours of not really doing much at all. And it was kind of funny. I don't know if you've ever watched, you know, Gary V videos on YouTube, but around this time is when I first came across Gary V. I actually met him when he was here in Toronto and he did this kind of like thing on the street late at night. It was pretty cool. But I heard him talking about how he was working these super long hours and I was like, I need to do this. If I'm going to be successful, I need to work like 14 hours a day. And what I realized was I can't do that. Sorry, Gary Vee, I, I can't, I can't keep up that level of productivity because I always found the next day, my productivity, even the next two days, my productivity would plummet. The third thing is that I found my kind of peak productivity amount of hours. And how I figured this out was I tracked my time and then I would look back and just average things out. I would look at the graphs and be like, okay, what, what's like a sustainable amount of productivity over weeks? Um, and I found a certain sweet spot that I could, okay, I could do those amount of hours every single day. Uh, and there wasn't a, a major drop off the next day. I could sustain that level of intensity and sustain that level of productivity. That of course may be different between everyone, but what gave me kind of a, a starting place to figure that out I did a bunch of Googling and some research and read some talks about, you know, work hours, especially in an office setting where you're using like your mind and you're thinking a lot uh, and you're at a desk. And there was a there's been a ton of research showing that most people are nowhere near like productive for the full amount of time that they're actually at work. Uh, and so eight hours doesn't mean eight hours of actually working. It means eight hours at work, but more like like three or something. It was actually quite shocking the amount of hours that people are actually productive. Uh, and for me, because I've never worked at like a place full time, uh, I was pretty surprised by that because I had no experience of what, you know, how productive people actually are at work. And so that honestly gave me a lot of freedom knowing like, OK, I don't have to be like 100 percent productive for eight hours every day. I'm not like behind. I'm not like missing out on, you know, what other people are doing. I can just do the best that I can do. And so what I realized was I started out at around the four hour mark and I was just like, OK, how can I just be like full tilt, super productive for four hours and then from there develop like can I can I do more than four hours? Do I need to do less than four hours? Hopefully that could be a good starting place for you is starting at around four to five hours and then increasing or decreasing depending on how you see kind of your tracked hours over, you know, a couple weeks or a couple months. The fourth thing that I learned was I got so much more done if I did less amount of hours, but I made it very consistent. Uh, there's, you know, the compounding effect in money where if you just like save some and invest a little bit over a long period of time, you get huge compounding effects. And I think this is very true in, in work and in productivity in business. Uh, you're going to find much better results if you just keep plugging away at something a little bit every day instead of being like, okay, I'm going to work like 20 hours today and get everything done. It's really hard to sustain that. And through this process, I found that if I just put an hour towards something every day and I was very focused, I was dialed in, I was like, okay, I'm going to work on this thing for one hour and then be done and then work on it another hour tomorrow. I got so many things done and it was so surprising, even though one hour seemed like, you know, kind of dumb. It was like no time at all. It's incredible what you can do if you are consistent doing just a little bit of really focused work over and over and over again. Number five is if you want to change your working life, you want to change your productivity, don't look at social media or your email before lunch. My most productive hours are in the morning for me. And while I don't always do this, I really try. And there's time seasons where I'm better at this and not. But when I do do this, it's incredible. When I don't check my email, when I don't look at any social media, 
wow, like I am so productive. I'm actually pretty good with no social media because I took social media off my phone. Uh, so it's pretty, I have to like get on my computer and look at it if I want to look at social media, but emails, I gotta be better at that. But when I do, when I do that, when I don't look at it until lunch, I get so many things done. The seventh and final thing that I learned from tracking my productive hours all these years was that I need to have a clear plan on what I'm working towards. So uh, the great thing about, you know, using this toggle timer is that there's all these categories of you can make any category you want. And so say I'm working on a wedding photography course, let's say uh, I can create that as a new category. And and every time I'm working on it, I can click on that and say, like, OK, I'm working on it for this long. So what I do now is now I have a very clear understanding of how many hours I can actually be productive in a week. So for easy math, let's call it I can be productive for five hours a day. That means I only have 25 like really good productive hours every week. And when you actually just look at that, you realize like there's only so many things you can do. And if you don't plan what you want to categorize to each thing, you get to the end of the week and you're like, what did I what did I even do? Um, but now, for the most part, I'm pretty good at doing this is that at the beginning of the week, I'm I'm going to say, OK, I'm working two hours on this on Monday, I'm going to work one hour on this and one hour on this. And then I do that. And then by the end of the week, I've accomplished what I've wanted to accomplish. I've known like where I spent my time um, and it pushes me forward. And this is where things really changed for my business is that the first really couple years of running my photography business, I just I had no plan and I was just like doing whatever and I never felt like I could really get anywhere. And now that I have a really clear plan, I have a really clear amount of hours that I know that I can be productive in. I I get so many things done. And and this is the best part about it all. I actually feel like I've gotten things done. I get to the end of my productive hours and I've worked on the things that I wanted to work on for the amount of time that I wanted to work on them. And I feel like I had a good day's work. I feel like I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. And that for me is huge because feeling confident about what you're doing gives you more and more confidence. And honestly, I think helps you just grow a better business long term. Mm -hmm.